Hey guys, The Punisher is a movie. So The Punisher came out in 2004 and we are continuing on our quest to review all of the Marvel movies before Thor Ragnarok comes out in November. Which means if we're in June, we have still barely scratched the surface. Oh god. We got through Blade, we got through Blade 2, we got through um Hulk, we got through Daredevil, and now we're almost out of the bad. I mean, besides the Blade movies, we're almost out of the bad. Oh. What's the next one I have to review after this? The next one, I think, is, um... Blade Trinity. I swear, guys, we're almost out of the bad. The Punisher is a movie that came out in 2004, it stars Thomas Jane and John Travolta, and it tells the story of Frank Castle, the Punisher. He's this guy, he's this FBI agent, and he's he's got a wife and kids, and while they're on a vacation, these guys, they kill his wife and kids, and that just completely ruins him as a person, and he decides to take revenge, and he does a shirt with a skull on the front and he takes on the alias of the Punisher and he kills a lot of people. Which is odd for a Marvel comic because a lot of Marvel stuff is geared towards kids. So you got this guy called the Punisher who literally just runs around and puts bullets in heads. And that's all he does. He doesn't I don't know if he has any hobbies really doesn't seem like he has any other hobbies. I don't, they never show, like, you'll never see a Punisher comic book where most of the time he's just sitting there carving wood sculptures when he's not putting bullets in people's heads. That would be kind of cool to see, though, to show if he has, like, any other hobbies besides murdering people and crying over his dead family. Yeah, the Punisher kind of sucks as a character. I'm not gonna lie, I have never been a huge fan of the Punisher. Like, ser seriously. The Punisher has just never been that much of an engaging character to me. I did think he was good in Daredevil Season 2. I thought he was uh, one of the best characters to be introduced into the Marvel Netflix universe. I just don't particularly care for the character and the way his previous incarnations on film were handled. Specifically this one. I haven't seen Warzone yet, but all the stuff I have seen of it, I think it looks really stupid. So I'm definitely totally looking forward to doing that one. This movie is pretty bad, honestly, guys. There are very few redeeming qualities to this movie. I would say the action is all right. Thomas Jane is pretty good as the Punisher. And John Travolta is all right in the movie as the villain. He plays the villain. I forgot what his name was. I forgot most of what he did. I don't really care about anything that happens in this movie. And that's a problem because Frank Castle is a character that you're supposed to feel sympathy towards. You're supposed to feel sympathetic of him because his wife and children were killed right in front of him. So you're supposed to care. But there's a problem with this movie. You don't care. And when you have a character that is meant to be sympathetic, you, and then you have a character you have a characterization in a movie where you just don't care about what happened to him or what he does next, that seems like it might be a bit of a problem, doesn't it? Um, yeah, there's just not that much that's great about this movie. There's not even that much that's good about this movie. This is, like, ca categorized as one of the worst 
uh, Marvel and superhero movies ever, and I completely, I completely understand why this movie is, this movie is very boring and dumb. I didn't care about anyone or like anything really in this movie, except Thomas Jane as the Punisher. I think Thomas Jane was a good pick for the Punisher. I just don't think the movie that he was uh, chosen to play the Punisher in was all that good. Now, shout out to a uh, short filmmaker on YouTube. There is a short film called uh, Dirty Laundry, which has Thomas Jane in it, where... Um, he may or may not be reprising the role unofficially of the Punisher, but that short was really good. I really do enjoy that short. I'm actually going to be doing a review of it, like, either later this week or next week, just because that, I think, is the best thing to come out of this movie, because if this movie hadn't happened, then we wouldn't have gotten that short with Thomas Jane coming back as the Punisher, because I just find it, I find it kind of fun to watch that and be like, oh yeah, this is totally plausibly can take place in the world of this Punisher movie. And even though I don't particularly like this Punisher movie, I like Thomas Jane as the Punisher, so seeing him come back in the short film and actually have something better to do as the character was enjoyable enough for me to be glad that this movie happened. <laughs> no, but guys, there is not very many things about this movie that I like. Honestly, I can barely even remember it, and I just watched it yesterday. It's a very forgettable movie. I didn't enjoy it all that much while I was watching it either, so really... There's not much I can say. This movie sucks. Don't watch it. Watch Daredevil Season 2 again if you want a good Punisher story. I'm going to give The Punisher a D+. Yeah, Th Thomas Jane alone knocks it up a couple steps just from saying that this is an F. But yeah. D plus, guys, don't watch it. Just watch the short film on YouTube and you'll be, you'll have a good Punisher story right there. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Punisher from 2004. Um, yeah. I'll talk to you in the next video, guys. Bye.